I have been wanting to talk about this for a long time. Long time. Just a simple leave me the fuck alone video. I got a PSA for y'all because I was watching this video back and I don't want anybody to misconstrue what I'm saying. So when I'm talking about people, I'm talking about the general public. If I say her, my ex, then it obviously means that I'm talking about my ex. So do not try to twist and say that I'm talking about her if I am talking about general people. That's all. I'm going to explain to people why. I feel like I'm in class. For this lesson, I'm going to teach people why they should leave me the fuck alone. Okay? I just, I think I want to vent. No, I know I want to vent. I've been wanting to vent. Because I feel like it's getting so out of hand. Like, it's, over, it, it's fucked with my mental health this whole time. There has not been... There actually, there has probably six months, six months to maybe a year. I wasn't getting as much hate as I was um, back in 2018. Oh, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, because I should have said that, um, I'm talking about all the hate I get from my past relationship. And I'm also letting people know right now, so don't twist my words up because it's coming out my mouth. Um, I'm not going to be ex. Exposing. I'm not gonna be telling my side. I'm not gonna be telling my truth I'm not gonna be speaking on anything that has to do with my past relationship because I just don't care enough to explain any of that to anybody that does not know me and that is just the simple fucking truth people that know me know what happened people that know her know what happened in your circle is what I'm saying everybody else I'm not explaining shit to you because I don't care enough to explain how I did this, did that, didn't do that, said this, said that. So that's not going to be any part of my conversation today. I am solely speaking to the people that still want to send me hate. They want to spread lies on me and, and influence others. And that's... That's one thing that pisses me off the most is that y'all are just talking about me. Y'all are trying to influence other people to hate me. The thing that really triggered this video, because I really, I, I'm talking about everything at this point. The thing that triggered this video for me to say something, because I never want to say anything. I never, I will say little things here and there on Instagram. I'm not going to act like I don't be responding to people because I do because I'm a human and sometimes the shit fucking bothers me and other times I say fuck you and I don't care. The reason I wanted to make this video was because I made a TikTok. It's so funny how TikTok is the most toxic platform but anytime I report anybody's comments, I report anybody's page, I report anybody's TikTok, it never gets taken down when it's clearly hate speech. People get free speech and hate speech mixed up willingly. Like they don't even care at this point. The reason I wanted to make this video was because I made a TikTok and I said, which caused all this shit, which is just like, and, and this is why I'm talking about it. I said, you know I wasn't the problem and that's why you mad. It's a trend on TikTok, so if you wanna go fucking watch it, then go watch the shit. One, I see somebody else do it. So, I don't know if other people do this, but if I'm doing a trend, like a specific trend like that, where you have to put words because my brain isn't like, I don't think a shit that good for TikTok. I'll go look at what other people say and like whatever relates to me. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm posting that. I've had plenty. And me and my girlfriend just talked about this yesterday because I was, I was bringing up this whole fucking situation again because it's just wild to me that people thought I was talking about my ex. I, we have not been together for four years. And, anywho, yeah, I posted a fucking TikTok and people automatically were assuming that I was talking about my ex. First, I, I think I, no, I posted like three messages or uh, comments and I tried to pin them, they wouldn't pin. But I posted three messages once I seen that people were like going with that narrative. And I was like, first of all, this was about her. Period. That's it. So the more people were commenting, I was just deleting them. Then it started to like, that video, I took a picture, that video got like 700k views in a day and I knew the comments was gonna cut up. So I cut off the fucking comments because I'm not dealing with that. I'm not gonna go through, I'm not gonna spend my 
peaceful ass day. I had a great day that day because sometimes I got fucking time and I will sit there because people like, and that's another thing, people just act like I cannot respond to you because I'm on social media. If you're talking shit, I'm gonna respond if I feel like it. So then people started going to my other video. Now this is the T, my video under it. Cause I'm not deleting that video cause it wasn't about her. So y'all can shut the fuck up or y'all keep talking. Like what the fuck? So under that video was a video about this girl that scammed me. I literally, or one of my friends, y'all know, y'all see the video on this channel. I promoted that video on my TikTok and people went to that video. I don't even think they cared to like watch the video and be like, oh shit, maybe she's talking about her. Like maybe, 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 maybe. They just go into my comments. Why you delete them? Why you delete them? Push your comment back on. Why would I put my comments back on when y'all keep throwing around this narrative that it's about somebody that's not even fucking about? Why would I do that? They start commenting on there. So I'm responding to people like, I wasn't even talking about her. I was talking about this girl that I literally just made a fucking video on. And y'all can go look at that for yourselves. And if you don't, like, if you genuinely just want to stick in your head that I was talking about my ex, then that's just on you. I don't know what the fuck to tell you. People keep tagging me and shit and that's another thing do not tag me in these videos i appreciate you trying to support me and like saying nice things or trying to defend me um even though i don't feel like it's necessary on anybody's page i feel like the best thing what i would ask as a supporter i mean as a supporter as an influencer is just report the video that's all don't comment don't like or i mean like what if you fucking like it then like it. i don't give a shit don't comment on it some bullshit don't comment on it talking shit about my ex don't comment on it defending me just report it that's all you get it reported it gets deleted and then it won't influence all these random fucking people that don't even know me to have this mindset in their head that i'm some type of person that i'm fucking not so i'm telling people let's, let's go back i'm telling people that this is not about my ex <clears throat> and they're trying they're they're trying to convince me at this point that it's about my fucking ex first of all the statement can be so broad i, I don't get it <laughs> i just don't understand and this is why i'm talking about this shit because i am so tired of every tiny little problem i have in my life they assume i'm talking about my ex and it's disgusting i was 22 when we broke up do people not understand that i'm 26 i'm about to be 27 in six months do y'all understand how much life how much life what like think back for yourself that's what people just don't do and that's okay if you're watching this video with a one track mind then just keep giving me the view i guess i don't know think about it with like your own self or your own family members. People have family members. I wanna I wanna give this as an example. People have family members that four years ago they were addicts. They were fucking abusive. They were mentally fucked, right? And four years later, they're uh it's like they did a 360. Why do people assume and think that I am still to this day worried? about what the fuck she's doing. I'm the only one on this earth, on this YouTube earth, to my knowledge, that just can't change. I can't change, I can't get over it, I can't stop talking about her. I do not be talking about her. I'm not about to censor myself, and I want people to take this and run so fucking far with it that they can reach Mount Everest. I have other life, I have other things to talk about. I experienced so many crazy ups and fucking downs in the last four fucking years. I am not censoring myself to please you, her, or anybody else. I'm not doing it. I am 26 years old. AJ ain't shit, but I've had a lot of fucking experience with this bullshit that I've been getting on the internet. Tired of it. I'm tired of it, it's uncalled for, it's unprovoked, and I'm over it. Stop acting like words don't matter. Stop acting like I'm not a human being. I have made plenty of mistakes. I will never sit here and act like I have never made a mistake in my life and I'm the perfect person and everybody else is the problem but me. That is not ever. I will never. I write my fucking wrongs all the time. I was raised to write my wrongs. Okay, stop assuming I'm talking about my ex. If I was ever talking about my ex, it'd be fucking obvious, first of all. And this hate that I get is disgusting. It is disgusting, it is vile. I don't understand 
it at all. I don't understand it. When are people going to be able to see my face that do not like me and just decide, mm, I don't like her. Let me move on. There was this girl on TikTok. Hold on. I'm, I'm talking. <laughs> Lately, since I posted this video, I've seen plenty of TikToks about me. Okay. Um, and this one TikTok was this girl. And I want to let it be known. And I've done this plenty of times. I take pictures of this shit because I think it's fucking hilarious. People say they forgot about me. People say I'm irrelevant. But when I, when I get tagged in these videos of people talking about me in a negative way, ever in a positive way, in a negative way, it's their most viewed video. So irrelevant where? Um, two, 90% of the time they fucking follow me. And this specific girl that like, this is the first video I was ever tagged in. So I don't know if other people are making videos, but this specific girl put in her comments because me as a human being, I, hold on. I am naturally, if I'm getting tagged in something, I'm going to fucking look at the comments. Should I? No, because it puts me in these moods. The only two people in this situation that know what happened is the two of us so when i'm seeing people throw out fucking narratives about this shit random ass shit that i never fucking said that is not proven on the internet at all it bothers me but anywho that was kind of off subject went to the comments and i'm reading i'm reading her responses too right and this girl is talking about unfollowing me i took a screen recording of it if y'all want to see it so i think she said that she unfollowed me to um Get some traction, get some, oh shit, yeah, let me unfollow her too. I went to her page, right, when she said, because I'm like, she unfollowed me. First of all, I didn't even know the bitch followed me. Went to the page, she followed me. So I instantly, I'm like, let me screen record this, because it's real funny how you was just talking about how you just unfollowed me, but you didn't. I seen another TikTok, it was on like a tea page, TikTok tea or whatever, I don't know what the fuck it's called. They put my video next to um, her video. I don't know if it was about me. It was given it was about me because like of coincidence, but I'm not gonna assume because I know how the internet works. Like if it was truly about me, that's that's the real question. Did I feel like that video was about me? Um, yeah, but the only reason I feel like that is because of coincidence. I have no other proof. So I can't say fully that it was about me. People assumed assumed that I was talking about my ex. People assumed that she was talking a bit, like basically back to me. I proved, and this is my thing. This is, this, is, this is why I did this specifically. This video got so much attention that I didn't want to ignore it so then people could still run with the narrative that I was talking about my ex. So I made another video. I said, if you want to know who the fuck I was talking about, I'm going to tell y'all to go to what the fuck I was actually talking about. Can she prove who she was talking about? I don't care. Because I don't, like, it, it's like, if, if you were talking about me, I really don't give a shit. That's on you. That's one-sided. You know you know what I'm saying? Like, when I'm knowing and people around me are knowing that this shit is, like, if it was about me, that it's just so one-sided, it's like, do your thing. That has nothing to do with me. But this TikTok shit is getting out of hand. People love to get views off me. And people love to say that I fell off. People love to say that I'm this and that and the third. Um, First of all, y'all still talking about me four years later. Do y'all not understand? This shit is old fucking news old as shit news like news that like it's forgettable at this point i am not on this earth to try to please everybody um the reason i say that is because i posted on my story lawyer up coincidence that i posted it now yeah but who the fuck cares who i was talking about the, the fact that people first of all people assume that i was talking about my ex again like why do y'all think i'm so stuck on that first of all i want to say this i'm not gonna sit here and act like i never talked about my past ever because i was on the internet i'm supposed to say fucking face for people no and that's all i'm gonna say about that because we're not gonna get into that i don't care enough when are we gonna get over this that's what i want to know y'all still don't like me y'all still are pressed about the fucking situation y'all still are upset y'all still mad at me for something that y'all literally have no idea what the fuck happened Y'all have no idea. Spreading more information that was never confirmed by either parties is making it 10 times fucking worse and it's disgusting. People are still making videos about me. They're still in my comments. They're still on my lives. I can't even go on TikTok live. My moderators be stressed. My minds be stressed because I can't even go on TikTok because of all the shit I get asking the same fucking questions over and over and over. I told people, I told people, and I'm going to say it the fuck here because I'm tired of people running with this bullshit. 
And I told people on my live, I said, record this shit. Because when anybody ever looks at my name and wants to know these answers, they're right there. We don't talk. We don't talk. We don't meet. We don't nothing. We don't share anything. You know what I mean? We don't. That's it. That's all. It's done. It's dead. Stop talking about it. Period. Stop bringing it up. Stop asking me when I'm going to get my fucking tattoos covered up. I'm tired of people asking me that shit too. I done answered it about a billion fucking times. Stop asking me about these tattoos. Stop asking me about if we see each other. Because we don't. I am in a whole new relationship. That's another thing I'm going to bring up. Because a lot of people be saying that I am in a whole new relationship. I shouldn't be talking about this, that, and the third, whatever. Jamila is fully on board with me saying whatever the fuck I feel. I want y'all to know that now. She does not give a fuck. So don't ever sit here and, and assume or think that my girlfriend gives a fuck or is bothered by me ever responding to anything when it comes to defending myself. I want to say that loud and clear. Y'all will not get no fucking truth. Y'all hear that? I don't, that's not a problem. But um, y'all will not get that out of me now. I'm not going on the internet and influencing people that I was right and she was wrong or I was the good one and she was the bad one because I don't give a fuck enough. Y'all could, y'all could hate me for all y'all like, but that's the thing. Y'all can hate me. I know. I am very much aware. And I want everybody and a mama to know this. I am very much aware. Not everybody's going to like me. Not everybody's going to like me. Now, when everybody likes you or when everybody doesn't like you for something that you know deep down in your soul that you're not, it's different. It hurts different. It's like, oh, people don't like me because I am a thicker I don't know like people don't like me because I dye my hair people don't like me because I am I have a lot of friends I don't just random shit it's like okay cool but when people aren't liking you because of something that I never admitted to or something that I never confirmed it is it, it hurts and I want people to know that I've hurt I've been hurt I'm still hurt because all I want this is all I want y'all this is all I want, and I know I'm not going to get it, and that's perfectly fucking fine. That's fine with me. I'm not asking nobody to debunk everything that they said. I'm not asking anybody to go back on anything they said. I'm just simply asking for people, if you get where I'm going, to tell people, hey, we have both separated. We both moved on. We're both past this. Let's all, as a whole, stop fucking talking about it. Um, but I'm never going to get it. So that's just what it is. And we're going to move on from that conversation. I want to say right now, I don't ever want to come off passive aggressive when I talk about this shit. I might come off as a smart ass sometimes because I'm so tired of this shit. So if I'm ever responding to people, I might come off as a fucking smart ass because I'm really just tired of it and tired of people acting like they know who the fuck I am. Even if they felt like they know, even if they felt like they knew who I was, they don't today because it's a lot of people that stopped supporting me. So they haven't seen my growth. I get praised a lot. And I don't ever want you guys to go unnoticed. I try. And I, I feel like I'm very success, successful <laughs> successful on letting people know my appreciation. Because I don't want y'all to go unseen and think that I'm just focusing on the wrong thing. There are a lot of people that have seen my growth and have seen me get to this level as a grown woman that they have never seen in me before. And I really appreciate it. But for the people that just don't even give me a chance, it's like, damn. I, it's just like a slap in the face. It's like I personally work so hard to be who I am today. And it's going super unnoticed by people that are still stuck in the past. I've never advocated for hate. I Oh, that's what I was saying before. I can't. Oh, Jesus, I'm talking about so much stuff. I, I don't want this video at all to come off like I'm trying to be the better person and say something or the better person i don't know i just feel like it, honestly my fear about posting this is that people are gonna twist this whole video around and make it into something that is fucking not my video or this video is simply to just explain how the fuck this shit affects me to this day and hope that people will look at it and see like damn does she really deserve all this does she really deserve to be talked shit to all the fucking time does she deserve to get accused of still talking about situations that I'm not even fucking talking about. I don't ever want people to go send them hateful messages. I'm letting y'all know this right now. I've had people come to me and be like, I'm about to comment on this video. 
don't do it. I don't understand. Like, and I get some people, everybody hurts different and everybody heals different and everybody takes like their anger in different ways. And I can understand why some people, cause some of my friends would be like, damn, I want to comment and say some bullshit. And it's not even to her specifically. Um, but if it is, don't like, I'm, I'm just saying that, like, don't do that, but it'd be on like other people's videos. But what people are not understanding from a social media side, the more you comment, the more it pushes. I don't want that shit pushing, report it. That's it. I don't want people to send them or see this specifically and, and feel like they need to go attack them. I don't want people, I don't want my peers. I don't want people I know. I don't want people that support me to ever feel like they need to defend me. Because in all honesty, when you're coming back to me and telling me, hey, I said this, that, and the third, I'm not looking at it. And this is just the honest truth. I'm not looking at it like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. You helped me a lot. Like, no, I don't want anybody ever responding to anybody about this situation. Especially people I know and people that support me and people that want my best interest. If you really want my best interest, you're not going to respond to them. You're just going to simply report it. And that's it. That's all. I never want people to this day. I'm not going to say never. To this day, I do not want people to send hateful messages, D threats, or anything to other parties. Ever. I don't care if it's her or anybody else. Don't do that. Because you never know. And that's, that's what people don't understand about me. And that's the fucked up part to me. People don't understand. Y'all don't understand everybody's mental health. And everybody loves to scream that they advocate mental health. Oh my gosh. You know like 90% of these people are probably mental health advocates all of a sudden. And then when it comes to me, it's like, oh no, she's out the window. That's not fair. We're all humans. We all bleed the same blood. So treat everybody with respect. That's just the bottom line. Treat everybody with respect. I just hope that somebody out there will take this video, this statement that I'm saying, and realize, hey, that past relationship had nothing to do with me. Chrissy has moved on. She has moved on. We are both at other paths in our life. It has been four years. I don't know if people do this on her shit because I don't, I blocked her on everything. We blocked each other. I don't know who blocked who, but we just blocked each other on everything. So I don't see nothing about this girl. If she's not saying that she's talking about me, then she's not fucking talking about me. Or she's not making it blatantly obvious that she's talking about me. She's not talking about me. Period. I seen, well I heard, because I didn't want to see it. I heard a TikTok that she made because someone said something about how I wasn't the problem. And even them videos, it's like, oh my gosh, y'all just stirring up some shit that's designed to be fucking stirred up. Like, stop, stop, just stop, just stop, just stop. Like, stop. It's okay. It's cool. I've had people... DM me apologizing and that is what really just I appreciate that more than anything You don't have to go on the internet and make a whole scene about how I wasn't the problem and she was It doesn't matter who the fuck the problem was. We were both the problem. How about that? Like why are we still bringing up situations that happened so long ago? Y'all don't know how traumatizing it is to me or the other party. So why keep stirring it up? But anywho, I'm not gonna walk around and act like all this shit is above me. I'm not gonna continue to act like this shit doesn't hurt me. It hurts my feelings. Do people not understand that? Like that I have feelings? Do y'all not get it? Like, I do have feelings. I don't wanna talk about these situations anymore. If I wanted to, I'd fucking talk about it. Not everything deserves an opinion. That's what people are not understanding. They think that because it's posted on the internet, they have to say something or they are just obligated to say something when you're not. And um, this isn't the world of social media it's not it, it's just not that's like saying celebrities are allowed to get stalked because that's the life they chose and if you have that mindset get seek help and figure out that that's it we're all humans at the end of the day everyone deserves to move on there's no reason that we should still be talking about this in 2022 a lot of people said which i think is so fucking ironic that a lot of people said oh well we're we're gonna leave her in 2018 why the fuck didn't y'all leave me there then why didn't y'all leave me there Y'all said that y'all was gonna leave me. Why didn't you leave me? No one asked for y'all to come the fuck around. I'm very content. My Instagram got banned. I want y'all to know. My Instagram got banned and that's probably the best thing that ever happened to me. Even though I miss it, I'm not gonna lie. I miss my old Instagram. But mentally, it helped me because that page had a lot of mixed people on it. It had a lot of People that liked me, people that didn't like me, people that weren't sure but were still following me just in case I did something messy. And I just didn't, it, it didn't help me. So I have a new Instagram, which will be right here. I barely, I'm telling you, I barely get hate. 
solely on my Instagram. I want to say that clear as day. This is, I'm only talking about Instagram. People barely send me rude things, mean things, things that just don't benefit my life now. And I love it. I'm content with the people that did still follow me after all that shit. I am grateful for the people that are new and follow me. But I'm tired of people influencing other people to fucking think something about me without knowing anything, nothing. Y'all don't know nothing. Y'all know nothing. And I want y'all to know that. Y'all y'all don't know shit. Like, when you, when you want to say something, just be like, oh, damn, I really don't know what happened. So I'm just going to be quiet. How about that? Everybody deserves peace in this. When am I going to get my peace? Are y'all still going to talk about this when I'm fucking 30? What influences y'all to, like, keep talking about this shit? Or assume that I'm talking about somebody that I'm fucking not? That's the whole point of this video is I was not talking about her in that video. And it turned into this whole fucking thing. I deleted my TikTok app because I, I can't do it. Because now that I made that video and she made that video, everybody's stirring this shit together and making it something that it does not need to be. It is unprovoked. No one, it, it does not need to be a narrative that people go with. So I'm shutting it the fuck down. I was not talking about her. I was not talking about her luring the fuck up. Like, why? why? Like, yeah, okay. I'm not gonna lie because I'm, I'm keeping it fucking real over here. Yeah, it was a coincidence that I fucking posted that shit. But y'all don't know what the fuck is going in my life to have me even say that. For example, I literally just talked about a girl stealing $70 from me. But y'all can go watch that video because that's the that's the real person that I was fucking talking about. And I let this shit get to me and I shouldn't. I shouldn't let it get to me to the point that I felt like I needed to do this. But I am because I'm tired of fucking not saying nothing. It shouldn't have got to this point. A lot of people grew up watching me. 15, 16. If you, if you add four years onto that, 15 is 19, 16 is 20, 17 is 21. We are grown now, bro. Like, we are grown as fuck. And y'all still talking about some shit that y'all was talking about when y'all was teens? That's like me still bringing up shit when I was a fucking teenager. Like, I could never. I'm way past that. I wrote my wrongs with past relationships. I wrote my wrongs with everything in life. I'm not fucking perfect. And I'll never be perfect. And I'll have times where I feel like blowing the fuck up and saying whatever the fuck I feel and today is that motherfucking day because I'm over it. Y'all don't be considering other people's feelings at all and like I've, I've always wanted to say this. Y'all don't put it in y'all shoes. Like y'all don't put regardless of what the fuck happened. I don't care what happened. We're not talking about what happened. We're talking about the aftermath of that. Y'all not putting yourself in my shoes because other people would have themselves okay other people would have done that because the fact that i'm still and this is not this ain't nothing new and i want to make that fucking clear i have so many witnesses to this shit without me posting any fucking tiktok anytime i go live people are it's like a swarm of people just like get attracted to my live it's like a bee with fucking honey and everybody just starts going in on me asking questions saying i'm this saying i'm that constantly I'm not fucking with it. I told y'all, my mind's like, my mind be stressing because it be so much. And this is before this video, before that video, before that, before that, before that. It's been happening since I've been on TikTok. People ask the same fucking question. I hope y'all questions are answered now because it be mostly those questions. I, I feel like people don't understand that until they find peace is that hate just really weighs you down. Regardless if it's me, to me, to family members, to friends, like hate is very heavy. I have had some people in my life that I could say that I've I've wanted to hate, but it just creates this thing in your mind that's just like you just never get over it for real. When people are sh like when people are making these videos and they're talking shit, it's just showing me how much of a miserable person they are. Please stop obsessing over this long deaded fucking relationship. Me and the other party know what happened, and it shouldn't have been brought to fucking social media in the first place. That's just what it is. At the end of the day, I'm still learning that everything doesn't need to be addressed. Everything doesn't deserve a response. My problem with that is if like one or two people are saying it, it's like, okay, but I have thousands. Again, again, like bro, again, talking about me. That shit fucks with me. I'm tired of people telling me, don't let it get to you. Don't respond, don't say this, don't do that. I am a human being. Am I allowed to have feelings? Am I allowed to like, be like, damn, that shit hurts? Am I allowed to cry? I guess not, I don't know. People scream that women should just support women and mental health is so important. 
But apparently to me, it doesn't fucking matter. Stop looking up to people that allow and participate in this slander because it's just disgusting. I'ma say it again and again and again. I be telling my friends, I be telling my real life friends that be seeing this shit, don't say how you feel, it don't matter. You gonna have thousands of other people coming for you. Don't do it. I don't want you to do it. That's what I'm telling people. I, Chrissy, do not want people of that support me or care about me or love me to go on other people's pages and spread hate. It's not that hard to understand. So if you're looking up to people that are participating in it or allow it, um, good for you. And I hope that you find peace in your life. When you have a certain respect for somebody, you just don't allow certain things to happen to them. And people just sit here and act like I'm just never allowed to say something, which is just so nuts to me. And this is the hypocrisy that blows my mind. I don't know if she get hate. I don't know if she... If people are harassing her about this shit. But if you are and you're coming from me, you need to stop. Period. You don't know where her mental health is. And you don't know where my mental health is. So just dead it. That's it. Just dead it. If you can't stand to look at me without saying some bullshit to me, then just don't look at me. Delete me off or block me off TikTok. Block me off Instagram. Block me off YouTube. I don't care. If that will bring some peace in your life, then I advocate to fucking do it. I do not need everybody to like me. I don't. But one thing I do want is fucking respect from people. Regardless, if you don't like me, I've never in my life followed anybody or talk shit in somebody's comments that I don't fucking like. And that's the thing that the outsiders from the YouTube world feel like they, they have the right to do. And it's not fair and it's not okay. And that's really YouTube's fault, TikTok's fault, Instagram's fault. It's everybody's fault because they act like these influencers are just supposed to have a brick fucking wall as a body and they're just supposed to get the fuck over it. And it's not fair because if I were to, that that's why my old Instagram got deleted because I responded to somebody talking shit. Come on now. I'm the one getting bullied and I'm the one getting hateful messages but when I respond, I'm in trouble. So YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, all them things. Do better for creators because it's not fair. Oh, and I don't know if I talked about who I was luring up against because um I probably did it. But yeah, I was talking about all these drama channels because sometimes they say a little too much. It's like, oh yeah, you can you can you can't get in trouble for this, but you can get in trouble for that. So I'm telling them to lawyer up. I was not telling her to lawyer lawyer up because if that was supposed to happen, it would have been fucking happened. So what y'all gotta say now? Oh. Again, because I wasn't fucking talking about her. I've been trying to be the big person. I've been trying not to give attention to this shit. I've been trying, not even this shit. There's been shit. There's been, there's been subliminal shit. There's been other shit that's been going on that I've just been trying to ignore. But I'm really just over it. I don't really like fully speak on it. Like I don't, I don't sit here and just vent like I am right now ever. But I just want to let people know that if I ever do, which I, like I said, it'd be obvious if I ever said anything. I do that because I just felt like I was never heard. I still feel like I was never heard and I don't really care to be heard anymore. Well, I don't know. I kind of do, but like trying to start a bunch of stuff back up again that is long deaded and long gone is just, it's, I don't know. It's just out of my fucking blood. I just don't want to do that because like I'm, I'm semi at peace in my life. I don't want to keep going back and forth and talking about shit that does not need to be talked about again. It just sucks. It's sad, but it is what it is. Like, let's just stop, stop fucking talking about it. Let's stop throwing around narratives that nobody knows what the fuck they're talking about. But people keep saying this one narrative and I'm not going to say it, but it's absolutely not the fuck true. And literally nobody has proof. And people always say, Google it. I tried to Google it because I was like, did I say that? What the fuck? That's a... Off the wall, disrespectful, never in my fucking life would I say that about anybody's shit in my life. And people said that I was saying this shit. And that's what, that's what really pissed me off. And that's what really threw me off the fucking edge. Because I couldn't, it was disgusting and I could never. And the fact that people are throwing around that narrative that I'm saying this about somebody is like, no, like that's it, that's it. No, I can't, I can't just be quiet anymore. I'm not going to say what it is because... I just, I don't want to talk about any of that at all, but I'm tired of people throwing around false fucking narratives about me. So yeah, I, I'm still not understanding like why people can't just see me for the person I am today. I feel like maybe that's because people thought, like I said, they were assuming I was talking about her. So it looks like I'm not over the situation or whatever, but I was not talking about her. So we're just gonna, we're gonna dead that right now. So let's continue back to what I was talking about. It's, it's just like everybody gets so stuck on my past that they can't like realize how far I've come and it hurts. Like, I'm gonna stop acting like the shit doesn't fucking hurt me because it does. 
okay? I'm a human being. When I signed up for this shit, I was not signing over my feelings. I was not signing over being a human. I was signing over expressing myself, showing myself to you guys, being vulnerable to you guys. I try to be as vulnerable as I fucking can in my videos and y'all know this if y'all watch me. I'm never sugarcoating nothing. If I'm wrong, I'm fucking wrong. If I'm being a pussy, I'm being a pussy. Like that's just it. I'm never gonna act like I was, I'm, I'm just the perfect fucking person on this earth. It's not happening. People that live in the past just, they don't evolve and they can't like grasp they, they just can't grasp the concept of like people healing and moving on. And I've, I've realized that throughout the last four years is that like you're showing me a reflection of yourself. That's why when I say like I respond to petty shit, I feel like I'm showing that I'm hurt. I'm showing that I feel disrespected. Okay. So when y'all are just spewing out hate that's unprovoked, y'all are showing me who you really are down to the core and I would never want to be like you. You expect me or you expect us or you expect everybody to just stay stuck in these certain parts of our lives because y'all did and y'all are creating stuff that does not need to be created it's irrelevant it's projection and misery loves company we all know this after this video four fucking years later i'm so tired of talking about this shit i'm just gonna keep growing and keep evolving and keep trying to find my peace and where i stand in this world and i've noticed that people that just keep being stuck in my past are just they're scared of my evolution. They don't want to see me get better because then it starts to make them realize, which I've had a lot of people, like I said, that have come forward to me and been like, damn, I realized I was never in this fuck relationship. So how about I just move the fuck on? But people don't want to do that. They want to stick to what the fuck they thought or knew back then and keep it going till now because they haven't moved on. People talk about it more than I or her ever do. We don't live there anymore, okay? We're not we're not in that situation anymore. So let's just move the fuck forward and move the fuck on. If people wanna get on my ass for like still fucking talking about it, then that, that, that just sucks for them. Like I'm tired, can you not tell? I'm tired. If people want to say shit about me still saying stuff about this, then how about you take that energy and tell it to the people that are still talking about it? Because I feel like people think because one person doesn't address everything that another person is just supposed to do the same thing. You get what I'm saying? If she doesn't want to talk about anything and she doesn't want to address anything, then that's fine. That's on her. But I'm not obligated to do the same thing that she's doing or anybody else for that matter because this is social media. I feel like everybody expects me to just sit back and just take it because I'm on social media or they just think I'm supposed to sit back and just ignore it because I'm on social media or I'm supposed to sit back and ignore it because I'm on social media or it's because other people are that's what they're doing and I'm not doing that I'm not gonna shut up well after today I'm gonna shut up I'm not gonna promise that I'm never gonna respond to anybody else ever again because I'm not keeping that promise because if somebody pisses me off on a good day I'm gonna say something I have the right to defend myself I don't care if I am Beyonce I have the right to defend myself I have the right to say how I feel. I have the right to express my feelings. I have the right to feel feelings. I have the right to be hurt. I also have the right to be hurt. So if y'all don't wanna hear it, I don't know what to tell you. Y'all are still trying to create drama and I understand sometimes like for most people drama, drama feeds you because people that don't love drama don't give their energy to shit like this. So it just proves that after all these years, you are still trying to create something that does not need to be created. My camera died, but my conclusion in this is I'm in fucking school, okay? I ain't got time for none of this shit no more. If you think I'm talking about her, put in your head that I'm fucking not. Because like I said, if we're not making it obvious that we're talking about each other, then don't make it out of something that is fucking not. The fact that I posted, that, and that's another thing, like, it was like, damn, can I post anything? Do I have to explain every little fucking thing to y'all? And the reason, because I don't know if she was talking about me or not, the reason that I fucking posted the video, we're just gonna go back and, and kind of dip through stuff and then we're ending this shit. But um, the reason I posted, I, I don't know if I said this, I've been talking for like an hour, but um, the reason I posted that video, the video after um, the original video, was because I didn't want people going back to her and saying, she's talking about you. And her getting the narrative in her head that I'm fucking talking about her and doing whatever she wants, I don't care. Like, I, I didn't even care if she posted anything. I didn't want her to think I was fucking talking about her because I wasn't. So that was my whole point. It was like, okay, I don't want her to think I'm talking about her. So I'm gonna let people know because people are gonna tell her I'm talking about her when I'm not. And I know people are gonna make videos about 
me talking about her when I wasn't. I don't know, like I like I said, if y'all want to continue with that narrative that I was talking about her, go right ahead. I don't really give a damn. But I was talking about my friend that scammed me. And that was my last video. So, like I said, if you want to go watch that, then you'll see who the fuck I was talking about. Because it literally, and that's the thing that people aren't understanding. They're talking about, these comments, they be hurting me. I promise you, they be, they be, they be stressing me the fuck out. Because they're like, why would she be talking about a girl that's scamming her? If y'all watch the video, you know. But if you don't watch the video, then you wouldn't know. And then you're going to run with another narrative that I was fucking lying. But it's okay. It's okay. I am in school. We just hit our four year mark. I don't want to talk about this anymore. This is my first and last time I'm going to be speaking about this. I don't want any drama between me and the other party. I simply want people to understand I am a person. Regardless of what the fuck you think about me. It doesn't matter. If you don't like somebody, say you and your friend fall off. Or whatever y'all felt like I was. Because I was just a YouTuber. But if y'all feel like I was a friend, if you and your friend fall off, you're going to delete them off everything. You're not going to sit under every single post and say, you owe me money. You fuck my man. You did this and third. You're not going to do it because it's going to fuck up your energy. Stop fucking up your energy for me. Go find something to do. Go find a hobby. Go go to school. I didn't even think I could get into school and I got into school and I was very much grateful and I'm taking full advantage of this shit. I'm trying to evolve. I'm trying to get over this shit. I'm really trying. I have other things that I talk about in life besides my last relationship. I want to make that very fucking clear. I have been through plenty of things. For all anybody knows, I could have been talking about like my sister. Nothing's wrong with me, my sister. But like, I could have been talking about my sister and been throwing shade at my sister. Like, and y'all made this huge ass thing out of something that literally was not even about that person. And I did not want this. I didn't want it to come to this. But I just want my whole point of this video is to leave me alone. I made merch on it. Do I need to continue making the march on it? I'm just not getting it. But that is all. That's all I have to say. My goal is to um, just get people that don't like me to leave me alone. I'm not asking for you to like me. I understand. I'm very much aware. Not everybody's going to like me. I'm okay with that. What I'm not okay with is getting disrespected constantly over something that has nothing to do with them. Like, it has nothing to do with you. Regardless of whose fucking side you're on, whose team you're on. And stop saying that shit. Like, come on, I'm, I'm too old for that shit. We're not doing no team nobody no more i'm so tired of that shit like we're not team if you support me i love it i love you and i appreciate you i want everybody to know that supports me too do not send hate to anybody anybody watching this actually don't go sending hate to anybody i don't advocate for it i don't want it i don't want to see it i don't want to see dms of people sending me screenshots of them talking shit in dms or comments or anything i do not stand for it at all. That's not something I've ever, ever since I've been on fucking social media stood for. Ever. I don't like it. Because I know where the fuck that could put a person. And it's sick. So anybody that supports me, leave it the fuck alone. If y'all see a fucking video that's talking shit or something, report it. That's all I ask from you. Block them. I'm good. I'm alright. But that's all. I hope you guys understood what I said. I hope you guys do not mix my words up to try to make it seem like it's something it's not once again. I hope that we can just all fucking move on from this shit. I'm over it. I needed to do this. I feel so much better. I just wanted to speak on the hate that I get to this day, four years later. And then it's so frustrating when I decide to speak up on it or respond to somebody because they're like, why the fuck are you talking about this shit? But I literally get harassed day in and day out about this shit y'all will see it and just understand where, what the fuck i go through when i'm on social media because ain't nobody running me off this bitch and that's all i love everybody that watched this video even if you don't like me just kidding you can kiss a day that's it bye y'all